Hey, what's going on, Rapid Nation? Let's get right after it. Let's get rapid. With Iraq update, Al Sater closes his door to all political forces and will not receive you. This came out today. Al Sater is done. Right now, as we see it, things could change. He refuses to receive any party of political figures during the next stage after announcing his withdrawal from the political process. What is going on? I think I'm missing something here. I'm in contact with my, my man in Baghdad. I'm asking him the same thing. He's telling me Seder loves riots, but is that really his objective? with pulling out i hope you're ready for a rapid update video on iraq it's thursday june 16th welcome to rapid updates more news less bs let's continue the coordination framework comments on the name circulating in the media for prime minister this is nuts and you know what i bet it's not far from the truth but their social media and networking sites had proposed the names of the head of the al fata alliance al humari hadi al amiri for prime minister as a candidate for the coordination framework and then the head of state of law coalition says nuri al maliki i mean you cannot make this stuff up tell me no way in the comments below if, if you're against these names let's talk to white paper finance we are continuing to implement what is stipulated in the government's white paper and it's quite boring article but let's just say Finance Minister Alawi confirmed today, Thursday, that the state property sector faces huge challenges while indicating the continuation of work on the completion of, of automation projects. A lot of this is about visiting state real estate departments, touring between the departments of people of the department, the general managers, and expediting the resolution of property issuing belonging to the state. I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you had a great week. I hope you're staying rapid and focusing on yourself. The World Bank, the growth of Iraq's economy is linked to the formation of the government and the approval of the budget. I'm going to switch over to my Rapid Updates Telegram group. I sent this out this morning to them. I said, good morning, Rapid Nation, the World Bank, the growth of Iraq's economy is linked to the formation of the government and the approval of the budget. It's nice to know they're talking about the, the original actual budget needing to get passed. The white paper developed by the Iraqi government remains a model and a bold blueprint for the comprehensive economic reform programs towards economic diversification. Right there sums it all up. It is the blueprint for Iraq. I went off on a, a personal rant to those that are members in my group and I, I just said i believe this is a baseline to line your mindset as an investor anything is possible but as i always say in my videos focus on you and what you can control financially and create your own economy don't rely on one income stream especially in today's economy work on creating a second maybe a third income stream heck there are thousands of ways to do this and i know it's easier said than done it could be your mindset holding you down it's all about taking action so i just went on to say you know if you fail at first and you don't succeed it's okay it's called experience imagine if you started six months ago a year ago instead of waiting on this investment to go through look where you would be now so it's all about taking baby steps and for all of you long-term followers you know i've said that if you would have started a year ago live in your dream and that's why i try to keep these updates short and sweet and to the point because you don't need to be spending your whole life wondering what's happened today with the iraqi dinar so i said listen i didn't plan to say all of this but now is the perfect time to take action while we let Iraq do its thing. The World Bank warned of the impact of the delay of forming the government and approving the budget on the growth of Iraq's economy. Iraq is gradually emerging from a deep recession that it experienced in 2020. Further delay in forming the government and approving the 2021-22 budget may lead to limiting the use of the country's sudden oil revenues as the actual ceilings of the 2021 budget have been reached and suspending the implementation of the new investment projects, which may reduce economic growth. So everybody wants to know what's going to happen with Sater resigning and getting out of there along with all of his other PMs. Coordination framework, let us seize the opportunity and form the government. I can honestly say I really don't know what's 
what this all means for Iraq. My first inclination is it's not good. But here's what I can tell you what this reads. The Satyrs movement resolved the issue of resignation by not returning at all, which means that the framework is the largest block within parliament. Ugh which puts it upon itself to take control of the matters and form a government. So the next stage requires all parties to reach political agreement, begin with the completion of the electoral procedures, the formation of the largest bloc, and the selection of the President of the Republic and the ministers thereafter, especially after the status movement, left the opportunity for them to proceed with forming the government. It's almost like this was planned. Tell me below. I want to hear your thoughts down below. So they pointed out the coordinating, coordinating framework will begin next week with all forces as it hopes that the meeting will be held that includes the framework and its allies with the leaders and the leaders of the Sovereignty Alliance and the Kurdistan Democratic Party to reach understandings that lead to the formation of a strong government that represents the aspirations of the people, which that's bullshit. Sorry. Sorry to cuss for the very first time on my channel. So what's going to happen with Al-Kazimi? Nobody really knows. Turns out that they had a meeting with the coordination framework, that is, with Al-Kazimi today to discuss security situations in the country between Turkish attacks, violations of ISIS factions, and attempts to provoke chaos. The meeting will be dis uh, also was discussed the developments of the political process on the formation of the government after the resignation of the Satyrs bloc from Parliament. And this article repeats that information with Al Kazimi. Will Al Kazimi stay as Prime Minister? If it's for the people, I think he will. We just gotta roll with the punches. Hey, that's gonna do it. Thanks for being on this video and sticking all the way through. Some people have been emailing me about the Silver and Gold program that's been getting a lot of attention. I will return those emails to you shortly. If you're interested in taking a look at all that information, I have videos down below. We'll see you in the next Rapid Updates video. Stay rapid.